Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath of the Lich King and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. We are picking up questing here at the Amber Ledge right where we left off. And that's going to begin with uh, capturing a sorcerer. We're going to head down here and capture ourselves somebody. I think we get to pull them back on a chain of some sort. Thank you guys for joining me, for clicking on the video. Hope you are all doing well. Hmm. You look likely. Are we gonna... I'm assuming we have to wear them down a little bit. There we go. I'm sure we can mount up. And they'll probably manage to keep up with us somehow. There we go. He can phase right through the, the hillside, so no big deal. Excellent work. We'll have him prepared for his interrogation at once. Listen closely, Ramblehoof, for there is not a moment to spare. Your prisoner is being prepared for interrogation here in our tower. In the event that he is le less than forthcoming, your assistance may be required. Make your way up to where he is being detained and tell the librarian Normantis that I have sent you to assist him. With honor, friend. Okay, just some casual torture. No big deal, right? It was wise of Donathan to send you, warrior. As it turns out, I am in need of someone outside the Kirin Tor. It's fortunate you're here. You see, the Kirin Tor Code of Conduct frowns upon taking certain extreme measures, even in desperate times like these. You, however, as an outsider, are not bound by such restrictions and could take any steps necessary in the retrieval of information. Do what you must. We need to know where Lady Evanor is being held at once. I'll just busy myself organizing these shelves here. Oh, and here, perhaps you'll find this old thing useful. Be careful. Uh, we got a Neural Needler. Inflicts incredible pain on the target, but does no permanent damage. Yeah, okay. Have we tested it over, like, decades and years? Um, well? I guess we just keep hitting him with it? I, I was kind of assuming he would say things, but he's not saying the things. Let me check something really quick. Oh, that's bad. He was saying stuff, we just didn't have it enabled to be able to see it, it turns out. What can I do for you? Thank you, warrior. The information you've extracted is of vital importance to the Kirin Tor. Return it once to Donathan as we make plans for the rescue of Lady Evanor. For the Alliance. We'll assume that he that we got the information we needed out of him. Uh, we, we won't know what he actually said, I guess. Nothing, absolutely nothing going on up here. Can I safely jump from here? Sure, why not? Need help? Were it not for the desperation of our circumstances, I'd never have asked you to assist us in such a manner. So, what have you discovered? So it's true, they have her. It's clear what must be done, Tor, and she will be saved. I must remain here and aid in the rescue preparations. I call upon you again, this time to collect the prison key. All we know of this Sarland figure is that she cannot be harmed so long as her shield is intact. 
We've customized a special explosive that should strip her of this protection, allowing you to perform your duty. Weird. Weird way of phrasing it, but okay. Return to me when you've collected the key. Is it our duty? I don't know. Yeah. Doing a job for you. I don't know if that makes it a duty. That was a weird one. Sometimes with quest text, I, I wonder if the writing is just intentionally bad. That thought has crossed my mind a couple of times. Not bad as in awful, just... Bad as in... I don't even know if you'd say cheesy. Maybe bad is just the... The best word for it, just... Unspecifically not great. Sometimes. Some of the quests. Some of the quests are amazing. Okay, I've been playing too much of the rogue. So I'm thinking about how I'm gonna stealth in, and I'm definitely just gonna do the opposite of stealthing in, it turns out. So we're going to strip her of her shield. I guess we want to do this. Just hurl a big old explosive through it. Not much of a shield if it can't stand up to a casual bomb. Uh, oh, okay, cool, cool. So she's down. Who dares interrupt my work? Show yourself, coward. Here we are. As I said before, guys, once we get a couple of good uh, weapons here, then we could try Fury. But I really, really like the big crits of arms, and I, I like the execute spam when we really get lucky with the procs. I think it's really fun. Alright, and that's all we're doing. We have nothing else we can really pair this up with, so... We're just kind of going back and forth right now. Eventually we'll circle back uh, to some stuff that we have going on to the south. Just a lot of stuff that we're going to clean up here in Borean Tundra. We're definitely going to do the full clear of the zone. And to see everything there is to see. Greetings. Broken? Let me have a look. Delays, delays. The one thing we cannot afford right now. As much as I hate to disturb Lord Surastras, he's our only hope of saving our beloved Evanor. Bring him the key fragments and hope that his mood is favorable. Hurry, warrior. Our assault team is waiting. I don't like the look he's given us. Oh, great. You dare approach me, mortal? I don't know, you're laying here in the grass. What do you mean? We're like 15 feet from you a second ago. Why wouldn't we approach you? If you don't want people to approach you, you'd think you'd be like... Off, maybe up there. For the sake of your unborn children, pray that your cause is worthwhile. The frivolous games you play here are of no consequence. You and your dollar on allies pick at loose threads while the fabric of this world's future is being shredded. Still, this may provide my drake some needed amusement. Show me this key. The key is forged anew. Now heed my counsel, Torrin. Succeed in your endeavor or die trying, for if a single scale falls from one of my drakes, I shall hold you personally accountable. Now, off with you. I'm glad, like, he's so angry at everybody, at every mortal who approaches him, but he's the flight path, guys. He's the- everybody has to approach him. He's so angry, but everybody has to click on him. It's perfect. King's honor, friend. This is it, the key is ours. At last, we attack. Once we've cleared the platform, I'll use the key. You are to ensure the Lady Evanor remains safe after her release. Hurry off now, let us be off. Life bless you. We're off. We are off, guys. Way off.
For Dalaran, attack! We're attacking for Dalaran. They're attacking from their drakes. We, we got dropped off, so our job is just to hang out up here, I guess. Thank you, friend of Dalaran. You need something? We mustn't tarry here. Stay close. I'll take us somewhere safe. Perfect. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. I like that. Right back to the uh, quest hub. Need help? Your heroic efforts shall not be forgotten, warrior. Please accept this with my sincere gratitude. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, yes, I think. Strength. Uh, lots of strength. Yeah, yeah. We'll take that. And we will equip it immediately. I'm aware of your recent deeds here, Ramblehoof, and again I thank you. As for this local menace, we've learned all we need to know from them. They'll be dealt with in short order. On now to more important issues. Azeroth needs you. The region just west of here is centered is the center of an urgent crisis. I'll leave details to Lord Suristraz. You must speak with him at once. Good luck, friend of Dalaran. And down to the bottom we go. I'm glad, like, Torture Guy is a permanent fixture on that part of the tower. He's just always there forever. We, we couldn't use a little bit of facing to, to clean him up. So, Torin, we speak again. When you've heard my words, you may wish we had not. I've been mindful of your efforts, mortal. Do not feign surprise. Surely you felt my eye upon you. Yeah, you stare us down, like, all the time. The time has come to peel back a layer of darkness from your mind. There are stark truths that have grown ready that you've grown ready to accept. Okay, it's a little verbose, but let's hear it. Before hearing the tale, you shall be shown firsthand what we face. Put your affairs in order, warrior. He just like is that consent? Did we give our consent to be flown away? I clicked, so I guess so. Alright, cool, cool. I guess I, I... I didn't think about the fact that it would send us over here. I think it's okay to come over here now and we can go back to this stuff. Is there a big level difference? No, it's, it's all level 71. Yeah, it's not gonna matter like what order we do any of this in, right? We could do whatever we want. So, yeah, sure. Let's, uh... Let's hang out over here. I am cold Dara for a little bit. And we'll pick up the quest. Let's take turn in the breadcrumb here. Well met. As a Tauren, like, we can't see them, like, at all. That's the, like, really bad thing about being a Tauren that I, I really don't like. And uh, you guys can let me know how you feel about this. I, I've thought about race changing us into something a lot smaller. I, I don't like how much we obscure of NPCs and just of, like, enemies directly in front of us. Um, and yeah, I've thought about, uh, about doing a race change. Would be curious to know what you guys think. Uh, the, the only thing is, I would also probably have to do a name change. Uh, because it would no longer be applicable. Welcome to Kaldara, warrior. Under the Transitus shield we lie hidden, just a stone's throw from the Nexus. Fortress of the Great Aspect Melagos and his blue dragonflight. Do make yourself comfortable. Reading the meters, he wants us to collect readings from his instruments set around Koldara. 
Kingdom's honor, friend. And Secrets of the Ancients. It's become clear that the instability in the region has had an effect on its indigenous creatures. I've taken a particular interest in the Glacial Ancients and their recent adaptations. I suspect that their transformation into these magic-bound ancients may hold clues to our predicament here. For my studies, I'll need to sample both. Do hurry. Go with honor, friend. This is War Mortal, and we are the tip of the spear. Your little spats over land or currency pale in comparison to this conflict. We face the Aspect Malagos and his entire blue dragon flight. All you need to know is that if he is victorious, this world shall be no more. We are but few here, and we fly against many. Our deaths are all but certain, and our ultimate success lies in merely delaying our enemy. Go now, busy yourself while I decide what to do with you. Uh, uh, okay, cool, great. <laughs> hey there. Nuts for berries, okay. What a relief it is to see a fresh face. I was beginning to feel like we had been forsaken. No, I mean, the forsaken, the, they're other guys. They, I mean, anyway, let's move on. Our supply lines were cut off days ago, and things have been looking, well, bleak. To be honest, this was a suicide mission to begin with, if you ask me. Maybe I'm simply not cut out for all of this violence, to say nothing of the bitter cold. I'd much rather be back in Dalaran studying ancient texts. To the point, our food supply is nearly spent. Please gather what you can and bring it to me. See you around. Hello. I'm glad. I like. I like when people like go on and on and on for a long time, and then the saying like, "Oh, you know." But to get to the point, <laughs> okay. You didn't quickly get to the point, though. Have they no shame? Enter the Nexus and recover Bernard's research. Okay, so this is a Nexus quest. So we'll be doing this. Ah, uh, it's tanking gear. I don't. I don't want tanking gear. So then I could take the mail. I mean, I could take the mail, right? I could even take the leather if I really wanted to. I usually try to stick to my to my armor class, um, even though I know it doesn't matter in classic. Have a good one. I do try to stick to my armor class. I like being able to get beat on by enemies, so <laughs> you, you kind of want to be wearing plate to do that. If we were just raiding, you know what I mean, and I wasn't expecting to take lots of hits then sure, maybe I'd equip a, key, a, pay, a piece of leather or a piece of mail. Uh, but questing... I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, that being said, I mean... Tanking shoulders would be an upgrade for what we currently have on, so... One thing to keep in mind. Not having an interrupt is kind of brutal, especially after spending so much time on the Rogue, which is a 10 second interrupt that costs basically nothing. I will definitely take the skins. It's always weird to me that we can skin these to begin with, but... I'm not going to complain. So we're also looking for the frost berries out here, the berry bushes. And we need both types of ancients. So this is one of them and there's one of the other ones. One of them is aggressive, one of them is not.
Oh, there's actually lots of people leveling at, uh... At Endgame. Well, not Endgame, but you guys know what I mean. The, the, the last, most recent expansion. There's a lot of people leveling characters. I, I guess maybe they've been all taking advantage of the experience buff. More efficiently than we have been on the Rogue. That's really nice to see. This is the Mancrick server, in case anybody's interested. It's, quote, a mega server, end quote. And it's, uh, like 98% horde. So it's got, like, you know, 15,000 people. And they're basically all hordes. So lots of, uh, activity, apparently, at the end game. Uh, I don't need this guy. I realize. But what I could use now is a heal. I realize now that the last time we really did any of these quests was back when the expansion first launched. And everything was way overcrowded. We, we haven't gotten to uh, enjoy a, a non-crowded leveling experience in Northrend. That's, that's an interesting thought. Uh, because all right, I remember this quest being so so. All my memory is like colored by these experiences, these quests that were like difficult or challenging. But the reason why they were difficult and challenging, and the reason why they actually stick in my memory, is not because they're you know hard quest or unenjoyable quest. It was because everything was so farmed out uh, that every quest took three times as long as it, as it probably should have taken. But it's not going to be like that this time around. I don't think. Even with as many people as there are, I still don't think it's going to be like that. Uh, however, I am just having trouble finding objectives. Period. But that's a, that's a me problem. We can fight these spell weavers down here. We need to be taking these geological readings too. I may have to... Take a look at the map. Try to figure out where they're at. Let's heal up. Okay, so the readings look like they're going to be the front, the west side, and more the east side. It says north, but it's more the east side. We're actually pretty close to that one. Maybe we can... Maybe we go up there and get it. We, we do need the giant. So basically straight ahead of us. Oh, 
I know we're going to get a quest to pick up these pink crystals. That's kind of bothering me that we don't have that quest yet. Hmm. Um, that is not the item we need. Oh, we just need we need to click. We're not using anything. We're just we're just clicking on an actual in-game object. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, do we want to come around back here? I I think so. We'll grab the last frostberry that we need. That'll clean the map up a bit. I'm kind of surprised the level 71 Wormkin has not pulled yet. I, there we go. Now they're getting smurfed. I can't see anything through the trees here. Alright, there we go. We're done with those guys also. Let's catch a bandage here. We do need some more spell weavers. Looks like we're not getting in this way. Here we go, must be right inside the doorway here. And then if we head down around the front, we should be able to get the last of the spell weavers we need. And then there's... 
geological reading here and then the southern reading down here. All right, perfect. Might not have been the best move. I I'm kind of hoping for these guys to leash. Four hundred out of four fifty on skinning. And we need two more spell weavers, and then we'll be able to go back and turn everything in and see what's next. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get some better gear if we want to uh, take on multiple enemies at a time like that consistently. Also, maybe look for some better food. I don't know if we're going to have access to any better food, but we are certainly out of bandages for now. I think we can make two of them. Um, hmm, gonna head back this way a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, warrior, now that you've become familiar with the enemy, it's time for you to get to work. Our goals here are simple. We are to remain hidden from Malagos, observe his brood, and thwart his efforts wherever possible. To that end, I have a task for you. The blues are laying their eggs at the base of the Nexus. Exposure to so much arcane energy will surely make them hatch sooner. There's no telling what effect it will have on their spawn. I don't intend to find out. Slay the local wormkin and use their frozen axes to break the eggs. So kill Wormkin for axes, and then use the axes on the eggs. Got it. Good day to you. Our existence here depends entirely upon staying hidden. Should the shield fail, even for a moment, Malagos' minions would have us. 
One of my responsibilities is to rejuvenate the War Mage's mana level so their focus doesn't falter. With our supply lines lost, we, I've been forced to improvise. I could use your help. Very near the Nexus, Arcane Serpents feast on the abundant magical energies. Once defeated, they will yield a mana essence that I can make use of. See you later. Perfect. Need help? I've determined the cause of the instability. Azeroth's ley lines are being redirected to the Nexus. It's fascinating. If only I could spend the remainder of my days studying this anomaly. Sadly, I must focus on the immediate crisis. The influx of arcane energies is tearing a rift between dimensions. Deep inside the Nexus, the fabric of our universe is being weakened. I cannot stop it, but I've discovered a way to slow it down. Take this into the Nexus and activate it near the forming rift. Okay, I actually know how to do that successfully now. It's all tank stuff. Ooh. Um, yeah, if I had if I had the money for dual spec, then I would love to have a tanking spec going on. It's just that I'm not going to roll a protection spec, and I'm probably not going to tank as arm spec. So yeah, we just need, you know, how much more gold? It's it's a thousand gold, right? So whenever we get a thousand gold, I, I, I'll love to have a tank set. Uh, but ultimately, I want this character to be dealing damage. I want that to be his primary focus. Light bless you. But yeah, there we go. Another Nexus quest. Greetings. Quickening. Though we may be witnessing the end of our existence, I can't help but marvel. I've learned more in my short time here than in decades of studies. These ancients are being exposed to incredible levels of arcane energy. It's literally transforming them into something different. I'm confident that there's another stage in their metamorphosis. I'll need you to actually enter the Nexus Ramblehoof and find some evidence for their final state. Do be careful. So yeah, I think this is all of the Nexus quests. Maybe. No, I think we need one to kill, uh, Alex, kill, um, who's the red dragon in there? There's a red dragon in there. Karastraza? We need to, we need to take her out. So we need that quest. So yeah, we're not going to do the Nexus again until we have every available quest so that we can go do it and get it done and then not have to do it again until we're on Heroic. That is the plan with that. It's a decent time to hit level 71. Uh, so we're looking for axes. I want to have these out here if I can just to see them, and then eventually we'll need to use them as well. And how many do we need? We need five of them.
Kind of hoping that we'll go up against enemies soon that will drop a bunch of frost weave cloth because we have not been getting any off these guys. But they're 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 not humanoid, so I guess dragon can do not drop cloth. That's all the axes we need. We are ready to go below. And we can start fighting the mana wraiths down there. The mana worms, rather. Probably want to mount up and ride over there. Kind of hoping that the last dungeon quest for the Nexus offers a weapon. That would be really swell. We do have ammo, so I, I can shoot the ones up in the air. And in fact, we're going to. We actually hit him too, look at that. Look how skilled we are. So yeah, we have all the eggs that we need. We're done with that. We need one more mana essence. Seems like a 100% drop so far. I know I shouldn't say that, but... That is uh, the evidence we have uh, thus far. And there we go, 100% throughout. Alright, we're done here. We can climb out of this hole in a direction after skinning everything. I don't know if there's going to be stuff later on in Northrun that we are going to need a higher skinning level for. I'm assuming there will be. I'm kind of worried about getting to that point and not being able to skin stuff, so... Trying not to forget the skin. I'm trying to take advantage of when other people leave bodies on the ground. I'm trying to take advantage of that. This guy is just walloping us with magic damage. It's so painful. Oh. 
<laughs> Jeez. Uh, I haven't really been getting a lot of, like, the special boxes. Yeah, the Northrend Adventure Supplies. These typically have, like, potions and stuff in them, but uh, we just haven't really been getting any, I guess. Maybe as we start turning in more and more quests, we'll get more. I'm pretty sure you get them from turning quests in. The blues had begun to cover their drakes in mysterious runes. I must discover their significance. Relistras, Relaraz pokes his hand with a spear and coats the tip with his blood. Take this and use it on one of them. Wait for it to become subdued, then bring it here to me before it expires. Their hatchlings feed around the northwest edge of the valley. Okay. For your service to Dalaran, you will not go unnoticed, Torin. Uh, anything we need from this. Stamina, intellect plate, perfect. Uh, crit strike, raiding trinket. And, oh, that's spell crit. An agility, a stam, and attack power. This has double the attack power. Uh, that's what we're... Yeah, I think we take this. Safe travels. There we go. Double the attack power. Look at that. 30 to 60. Easy choice. And now we're going back to capture a drake. And it has to be one of the younger ones. Alright, so I'm assuming that there aren't any over here right now. I, I don't see anything I could possibly target with this. Um, so yeah. This guy here, he's, he's the type that we need. Maybe we try to... Oh, did I lose him already? No, there he is. He's, he's flying around over there. I see him. Maybe we need to kind of follow this guy. I, I'm actually kind of surprised at how far he's going, though. And now I'm wondering, like, okay, so where is he going to stop? Is he going to stop? Here's something. But we have guys on us now. I'm assuming I can fight stuff even when I... 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting you. I need to subdue you, maybe. Okay, so he, he's subdued now, and now we can mount back up, and we can get out of here. The fate of these young drakes need not burden your conscience toward. Malagos alone is accountable for this. I am working ceaselessly to discover the secrets of these runes. We shall take no more lives than we must. Well, that's good. Uh, okay. I think that what we have is probably better. I can sense a distinct peculiarity in the drakes here, but the meaning of the runes that cover their bodies still eludes me. Without a codex, it will take more time than we can afford for me to interpret them. Not far from here is a Kirintor trader, Kalaros, who is likely to have a copy of the tome I require. His underlings hold the runes I will need for my translation. Hurry, mortal, Malagos gains strength with every passing moment. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we have going on. So, let's go do it. We're gonna have to use our cooldown here and hope that we can uh, kill some of these guys. Because if not, then we're in trouble. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was almost really bad. Let's go ahead and eat back to full health here. We can't carry any more of those items. Okay. Oh, it begins a quest. Something about this scrap of metal prevents you from casting it aside. Perhaps Relaraz might be able to shed some light on its purpose. Perhaps he might.
Yeah, this item just is not wanting to drop off of these guys. We got two of them and then full stop. There we go, that'll work. Now I guess we have to fight our way into this guy. Uh, which seems like it might be hard to do, yeah. We do have our, our cooldown up, that's true, but they're all casters, so I, I have this terrible image in my mind of us being completely shredded. Just absolutely shredded as soon as we go in. You know what I mean? Hey, the cool news is we completed the quest. Did we get killed doing it? Yeah, we did, but we got it done. And uh, that's actually all that matters. And I'm just going to spear res here because I think we're going to get this one turned in. And we're going to take a little break for today. So for me, this is just like a shortcut back to town. I feel like that was best case scenario, actually. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I feel okay. You've done well, Torin. Let us hope for a clue that we can use against Malagos. What have you found? It was wise of you to bring this to me, Ramblehoof. Relaraz eyes the fragment and slowly nods. If you truly desire to contribute to our efforts, no matter the risk, I shall share with you its meaning. You've discovered a fragment of a special prison, Ramblehoof. Malagos's minions use similar prisons to hold their captured mages and other arcane entities, but this prison was constructed to hold something stronger. In hopes that the enemy of our enemy will prove to be a friend, you must search for the prison's remaining fragments. They are likely to be in the possession of Malagos's most trusted underlings. Alright, well, we know what we'll be doing next time. For now, guys, I am going to take a break here. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the support on this series. I am having a lot of fun on The Warrior, and I hope you guys are as well. Let me know what you do think, and as always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.